Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Nas Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes, and that they were talking hoops, talking about San Antonio Spurs, y'all. And we've been in tank mode, so my channel has not had a whole lot of content because I'm not a big fan of tanking. It may work out. I hope it does, but as of right now, my you know creative juices are dry. But I did come across a topic that is near and dear to my heart. This whole you know rest low management thing going on in the nba right now and the spurs are getting the blame and you know this triggered me emotional damage it wasn't in the way you would think i would be triggered i was more triggered by a whole lot of spurs fans pretending like this information isn't true man we got a plethora of Spurs fans reacting in different ways to this news, to this statement, which is crazy to me. We got some people, you know, about to have a tantrum like the Punisher. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. We got some fans that just straight up whining and crying like babies. And then when other Spurs fans, more sensible Spurs fans, more honest Spurs fans like myself, try to set them in their place, they get triggered like Charles Barkley. Hey, Charles! Charles! I'll see you in San Antonio! You'll see me! You'll see me kick your ass! But it's cool, bro. Your boy DC Tree is here to insert some common sense in the bloodstream of Spurs Nation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because if you pay attention to the entire clip, Kendrick Perkins actually says a lot of good things about the Spurs. How they set the tone for winning. How they set the tone for drafting. How they set the tone for just being a good organization overall. And yes, how they set the tone for load management. Listen, anybody knows me and knows the channel knows I grew up in Georgia, okay? four hours outside of Atlanta listen I'm gonna tell you plain and simple I haven't been to a Spurs game in years because of just fact you just don't know what the Spurs are gonna do I remember being a kid and my dad spending money for us to get a hotel and gas and drive up there and you know you know get there early and get snacks and food and all this stuff like that just to watch Tim Duncan and Mono Ginobili not suit up. Seriously, man. That was some hurtful stuff, man. Spending that money, spending that time, spending that effort. Now, granted, thank God, Tony Parker saved the day. Tony Parker put on a hell of a show that night, okay? But I remember my dad, before Tony Parker went off for like 30 points, being pissed that not no not the fact that Tim and Manu weren't playing, that the fact they didn't even dress out. Didn't dress out, didn't sign autographs, didn't even give the appearance of playing like 10, 15 minutes, nothing. They were straight up in street clothes for no reason. And back then the Hawks weren't a good team. So Popovich would sit the best players because he knew that the you know the B team along with Tony Parker could get things done. Which is from from a analytical standpoint it makes sense from an analytical standpoint it's it's perfect but for you know a family of four that's traveling four hours to get here man and paying two hundred dollars for seats each you know and that was back then yo we deserve to see the big three all playing together man you know and so the low management thing did start with them and i'm talking about that was like 10 years ago man even as an adult, I'm hesitant to go. I remember DJ and the Spurs last year were going to Atlanta. I thought about going, but I had to realize, I was like, man, I got to miss a day of work. I got to use vacation time. I got to travel four hours. I got to get a hotel. I got to do all that for the possibility. And the Spurs weren't even a good team last year. For the possibility that Greg Popovich decides to just sit DJ because DJ has some type of knick-knack injury. Just that thought kept me from spending those coins and those dollars and dj ironically ended up having a 30 point triple double i was hurt that i didn't go to that game man but it was just the psyche my psyche couldn't get over the fact that the spurs like to rest their players now when they were winning playoff games it made more sense but heck they do that job now even in the tanking season man 
if anybody has some type of lingering injury, they sitting. So it makes you wonder, you know, K Perk has a point, man. Spurs have been at it for years. They just don't have the attention grabbing stuff. They don't have the players that, you know, hit the national stage where people are paying attention. But Spurs fans like me, Spurs fans like us that live outside of San Antonio, we pay attention, man. We pay attention. At the end of the day, man, I'm not bashing the Spurs. I love the Spurs. I love the organization. But that's the reality of the situation, man. You really, even as an adult, you see what I'm saying? I'm not filthy rich or anything like that, you know, but I'm solid. I can afford the trip easily. But you get, you think to yourself, like, man, am I going to be able to see who I want to see play? You see what I'm saying? Or are they going to sit him, even Keldon, are they going to sit Keldon with just a small injury that he could easily play through? You just never know in today's NBA, so you have to think twice. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section if anyone else had this problem, particularly outside of San Antonio. Maybe the NBA should prevent people from sitting on the road. That might solve and alleviate this problem. All right, guys, thanks for kicking it with me, and I will catch you in the comments. Peace.